Now, last episode, we got a bunch of stuff done, as we do. One of the real cool things that we did was we went and visited the home of, um, wow, you know I'm tired, when? Um, we went to the home of Edward Kenway, who was the main character that we played as in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So that was really cool to see. Right, we can do boat raids now. All right, this is suggested level six. Oh, right, we're still in London. We got some shit to clean up. Let's get on it. Right off the bat, let's take care of the kids. A Samsung something? I've never heard of a Samsung something before. Is it a something five or a something six? <laughs> Thanks, uh, Stephanie. Appreciate that. <laughs> just like, just a Samsung something. I don't care. <laughs> Actually, hold on. What's, what else? Is there anything else near us? You know what? Let's buy some stuff over here. What's all of this? Actually, let's raid the boat. It's right here. Fuck. Let's get some money. Let's get some XP. You know, let's, let's do the shit that gives us the stuff. I think so. Let's cause problems. I'm gonna rip your tongue out, Red. We have an important job to do. For you. My God. Hold on, wait. Where's our? It's gone. See, that happens a couple times in this game where it's like, oh. Oh, hold up, hold up. No, I see the. Oh. We only, we only got straight time here. <laughs> Love it. Oh! You only have a shot, buddy. We just bombed him with the cane. Love it. A little bird, is that what you're doing? There we go. Woo! Headshot! You don't need that manifest no more. There we go. Yo, this guy's dumb as a thing. That's something that works. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, I missed that combo. Did I toss him? I am just absolutely. There we go. Like, that guy had no shot. <laughs> I love how we use the assassin's emblem to mark it. And the music is so just chill and, and proper right now. Very relaxing, very calming and soothing as we go about our work as professionals. There we go. Yep. Three more. Get only a minute and a half. Fuck. I hope we're gonna do this. Uh. There we go. Come on. We don't, we don't got the time. Do you feel like your phone like, is an upgrade, though? Like, do you feel it's performing better? Or has, like, takes better pictures or better camera and stuff? Or did you not really even care? Nice. Got him. This belongs to us now. Fenders, good to see you, buddy. How you doing, man? A good haul, boss. Nice. 
Got some decent resources there. All right, Binders, I see your question. Give me a sec here, all right? Now, where did it uh, drop us off at? Yeah, all the way down here, shit. <laughs> all right, sorry, we can fast travel here. Perfect. All right, so Binders, you're asking me, do I think the government should apply restrictions to free political speech in the workplace? I feel that any speech that doesn't go against company, legal company policy and is not taking away from workers doing their jobs, uh, conversations happen all the time at work, right around the water cooler, in the lunchroom, right? And that could be of anything, as long as it's not too too much for the workplace like let's talk about if i was in my office right lunchroom and i started talking about just some tmi stuff like real like tmi like how like a guy i knew and his wife were swingers and they went to an orgy last night and i got into like details of what the guy told me that's inappropriate Inappropriate. Would it be inappropriate to say, oh, my, my buddy's uh, was at an origin last night? Maybe not. It depends who you're talking to. It also depends how loud and obnoxious you're being about it. Right? Y you can take any topic. It doesn't even have to be sex or politics. Hell, religion. I think you should be able to talk about them. The problem is a lot of people don't have the balls to accept other people's opinions. They're too insecure in their own opinions, in, in my opinion, that any opinion opposed to theirs is an affront to them. I can't handle it. It's, a, it's because, look at our history, Benders, some of the conversations we've had, right? And we've been on, on different sides of things, yet we're able to be cordial and friendly. It's amazing how that works. So, I think as long as it's reasonable, reasonable topic, not being communicated obnoxiously, loudly, Right? Dis in a disruptive format, right? Or disruptive way. And also, it's not being used to entice others to cause problems, right? If you know someone's super intolerant and super sensitive to something, you don't just go rubbing it in their face. Like, you're trying to piss them. This is like grade school shit, right? It's grade school shit. Can I jump down there? Well, I can jump down there. It'd be my death. <laughs> hey, I think we'll go there, though. Right? So I agree that the government doesn't have to intervene unless it's genuinely legal. The business will handle that. I, uh, I think that's fair. The business should be able to do that. And, I mean, if there's an issue, then the business will handle it with their internal HR, their policies, as long as they fall in line. And it's not, they're not unreasonable. Of course, we all know there are employers who don't give a flip about regulation and, and all that stuff. I mean, there's no... <laughs> but there's lots of great, good workplaces, too. Right? So, if the government's going to intervene in some way, I would have to think that they would have to pass a bill at either the provincial or state level, depending on your country, right? That the business would have to comply with. But if those bills counteract some of the other stuff, such as freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and all that shit, then there's a problem, right? So, anyway. It gets, gets really complicated quickly, unfortunately. All right, what are we doing first here? Let's do this one. I want to do the kids first. Like, free the kids first. That sounded weird. Ah, uh, David O'Donnell. David, today is your last day, my friend. Uh, question, though? Top for a practice essay for getting your diploma. Dude! You are welcome to ask questions whenever. Don't apologize for being in chat and interacting. Oh, scare the bullies? Yeah, we got this. What? What? Problem, boys? Huh? What? What? I won't ever forget this. I won't ever forget this. Yeah, fuck that. Thanks very much. Don't hurt our boy over there. Can we car uh, hi hijack that cargo? Can I catch up? I don't know. I feel like I'm my daughter right now with ADHD. Like, oh, look over there. There's another thing we can do. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm faster than these people. Oh, 
Whoa! You sent that guy flying. Now, if you have not seen my Quickies video on this, guys, please feel free to go check it out on the YouTube channel. It's Quickies number 62, where I sent a man flying. Oh, I missed. Crunch. There he goes. Ha <laughs> ha! That lady better get out of the road. Oh, shit! <laughs> We're causing problems. We're just going crazy here. Holy shit, that guy went flying. Oh, you assholes. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go. Let's, we'll go one more. There's a fire brigade. I think we'll go around the long way. I hope there's a long way. Bonk. There we go. I think we're back on track. So you're getting close to that diploma benders. Exciting, buddy. You're going to be getting it at the end of the school year? Or when is the end of the semester for you to get it? Guys, get out of the road, dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, how much longer till you do get your diploma? There, you are. there we go. Easy go. Yeah, this game wasn't on the schedule, but I, I was just like, you know what? It's been a long day, man. I need to just relax and just get there lost in the game here. And I think this is just perfect, even though it, was le it wasn't uh, officially scheduled. Get in June? Okay. Countdown is on, my guy. Super proud of you. Excited for you. Here we go. Nice. We got uh, loyalty level up with Ned. Nice. Once again, all of these chemicals and materials are desperately needed so we can upgrade a lot of our stuff. Ooh, we got golden obsidian. Sounds nami. Not that we eat it at all, but... Oh, look! This is perfect. Yo, she countered that?! Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, okay, we lost the carriage. Dude, that's tough. Okay. I guess I gotta plan that better. I didn't think they could counter me. I'm actually really impressed with that counter. Like, she grabbed my foot and flipped me. Your girlfriend's graduation too? Yeah, buddy. I think it's gonna be great for ya. Alright, where are we going now? Where are we at? What? How did we end up there? Holy shit. <laughs> I think we're going to have to fast travel again. Good lord. Uh, that's going to be a great uh, grad season for you, man. You got yours coming up. Your girlfriends, man. It's going to be a good time. Oh, man. So, Stephanie, I, I, I know that you had mentioned that you're still learning the features. You don't care too much about that stuff. Is it work similar to your old phone? Like, was your old phone an Android as well? In June, there's a darkness coming. Why do I feel like this is going to be a, like a trailer for a, a summer blockbuster movie? In June, there's a darkness coming. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try and do the mission we said we were going to do. <laughs> oh, my word. Yeet. Bop. Okay. Let's get it. David O'Donnell, your stay of execution is now done. We're coming for you, sir. Uh, 
with Android? Okay, gotcha. On June 12th? Surely you can't mean your birthday's a... What is going on here? Oh, shit, okay. Well, I, I'll help my guy. This poor horse. Oh, you lost your hat there, shit. Dude, just take them all out here. You guys... Oh, that one got me. Yo, we're just shooting everybody. Dude. All these assholes blocking. <laughs> there we go. Fuck, I'm too late on that. Ooh. Okay, it's like that. You're done, brother. Your mom's coming home tomorrow? I hope she had a great cruise. I hope she had fun. Bop. Oh. Your alien birthday? What? You, what do you mean your alien birthday? How, how do you find that out? Man, that... Uh, one of my party members, like, they were in green. It's a good thing I came along. They would have been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I had to come along here and get shit going. Okay. Whoa, sorry. Intrude Ash. Where's my L1? Haha. Uh -huh. Ooh, I hear a, a treasure chest. There we go. And you're dead. Dude, she even killed a cop. Holy crap. <laughs> you can't wait till you're in 1472. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty spry there for a 1,400-year-old, a you know? <laughs> okay, up we go. Where's uh, Buddy that we're looking for here? There we go. Oh, something. Hmm. Where is this person? This person is sneaky. Okay, well, I think we should cause some problems here. We don't want peace. We want problems always. You got to do where age groups are separate centuries. Yeah. <laughs> what is that horse doing down there, man? That is a... What? Oh, no. Going after one of my friends. No, she killed him. Ah. Oh. <laughs> She's so flipping out. Oh, oh, there she goes. Like, there's... There's not even a... I'm so confused. Don't let me hear those youngsters haven't turned 14, 50 yet. Yeah, I know, right? Freaking noobs who are only 500 years old. Get out of here. Okay, so how do we find this dude? 
Where's this guy? Yo, I think we fucked up the mission somehow. Cause not like something's I think when we did this battle over here, I think it messed everything up. That's what I think what happened. So you know what? Let's trigger something else here. Or let's move like this O'Donnell guy is like he's like there's nothing here. Nothing is active. I don't understand why. Where's the missions? Okay, let's try and get the cargo thing, and then let's see if that will allow us to, uh, with, with, see if all the, the tags will come back, you know? Yeah, move it. All right, this dude's by himself. Here we go. Oh shit, I'm wasting it. There we go. He's going crazy at least. Ah! Yo, everyone's after us here. This is crazy. Our poor horses. I'm running them right into freaking. Oh god. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god, they ran head first to that dude. Got him. <laughs> oh, damn it, they're catching up. Can we sneak through? Oh! Oh shit! Get wrecked, son! That was nuts! Some of these crashes are beautiful, man. Absolutely glorious. This is uh, Industrial Revolution London, vendors. Go. Got a little bit of resources. Resources aren't as much here. I think we get more resources doing like the boats and, and train hijacks and shit, you know? Okay, that should now... Yeah, see? It's back now. So now we gotta do this again. Fast travel. I want to get this mother flipper, man. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> so hopefully... It won't uh, mess up this time. Allie's been driving up the wall. It was a little bit of a nicer day today. That's for sure, Elizabeth. So, pretty sure more pollen's gonna get kicked up and stuff. Yeah. The fast, the fast travels aren't that fast because it takes forever ever to load. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tail end of Victoria. Sure. Yeah, I think that's fair. And I'm loving it, man. This era, the, the combat, everything has just been fun. I am going to, like, I'm so ready to destroy this, this fool, man. I'm so done with this guy. But first, we must buy. Because I use a lot of my shit. How much money we got? 10k? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I've had, I've been having a blast with this. I've just been, I've found that it's been easy just to get lost in. All right, let's get this bounty hunt. I'm going to go up top this time because I think like my person being there made all those guys like try and jump up. It just messed everything up. That's cool. They even had double deckers back then. <laughs> See, I wish I could... Oh, shit, my bad. Sorry, sorry. The, um, the zip line only comes out, like, when the game, like, has specific areas. I can't choose it. That's one thing I was annoying. Not too many things annoy me about this game. 
Spot on. I believe you. Bennett, I definitely believe you. Alright. Yo, what the? You're going off. Oh, it's like that. Oh, <laughs> oh that was the best. I love it. Okay, where's our guy at? Right there. No, I'm not bringing him back alive. like that. Hey! Oh, wow. Wow. Straight shot. You missed me. Don't mind me. I'm just, just going to reload. Come say hello. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, he took a shot to the head! Yeah, now I got my boys here. Let's go. Now, are we done? I'm going to loot him first. Don't, don't you miss being in the BCs. I can't, uh, I can't relate, my friend, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say. Yo, you killed my guy? Oh, I hate you. That's all right. I'll avenge him later. Nice green dress there. This guy really wants it with me, huh? Okay. Miss me. Do a flip. Bah! Home run, baby. Now, as for that, insult to injury, I mean, fucking murder you. I loot you too. I already murdered him. It's like I shot him once and took my bullet back. <laughs> Oh, wait, this isn't... Yeet! <laughs> That's the wrong one. My bad. Your cousin called his mom a dinosaur. He's turned 40, so... And I'm 42, so... Like, I'm... Before the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, I'll knock... Oh, shit. I set my... Uh... Microphone here. I'll knock on wood for you, Elizabeth. No allergy attacks, alright? Yeah, and here's another one for real. There we go. Murder! Uh-oh. Yo, this thing's fast, though. We got someone chasing us, too. Move it. Uh oh. Oh shit! Now watch out. Go. Oh wow. How are we getting through this? My horse is going crazy right now. Damn it. My horse is driving around in circles. <laughs> Just like that, we made it. Whew. I don't know, actually, Steph. That's a great question. 
I've only Trevor tried doing one. Will not do. What? They're dead, Frederick. It'll do fine. Eh. I'm not gonna take him alive. It take, this is too much work. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. Finally. It took us how many tries to finally get that one done? Sheesh. Alright. We are now... Where are we, anyway? Oh, we're here. Alright. We are now going to go here. But first, we're going to buy some stuff there. Let's get it. Three or four? I'd like to think so. We could do that experiment. Remember where, like, how many people can you fit into a Volkswagen bug? Right? Probably do that here. Let's find out. Everything you need, right here. Let's refill everything. Your poor eyes, though? Oh, yeah, we got the white screen we'll coming in. Next time I kill, I kill so I'll see how many we can stuff in there, okay? I think that's, that's a funny idea. Oh, it's a gang stronghold. Okay. Alright, let's get up there. Let's cause some problems. Okay, we have to free protect all the captured ones. And kill the leader undetected. Okay. Okay, that's the guy there. Big girl jump. Did not mean to do that. This part should be easy. There we go. Part one done. <laughs> oh, he's a strong one too. Basically, almost took him out with two shots. They have Doctor Who in this? Bender's there? No way. That'd be crazy, Easter egg. Nice. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't kill like the Nope. I can't I gotta free him. There we go. Not looking so tough now, are ya? Oh, I missed it. Oh, I could have used that. Dang it. Hold up. There it is. We got this, though. <laughs> Throwing knives are getting pretty dang good here. go I think it's cool that we even have Charles Dickens in this with Alexander Graham Bell Charles Dickens like there's someone else too I think so cool so cool there we go another one bites the dust All right, let's go free them kiddos. First flower. It's so pretty. And we have a shop on the way. But a gun. 
Not very good. Oh, hello. Oh. I don't have time to deal with street rats. String them up. Her name is Bloody Nora. Where you going, Bloody Nora? Oh, you bitch. Nora, huh? Got her. Bye, Nora. Bloody Nora has lived up to her name. She's very bloody now. Does she? That's weird. I talk to you. Dude, I used up all of my throwing knives almost on this shit. No, the episode St. Jason, St. Jason. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, I think now that you mentioned though, it, that is a missed opportunity for to not have like some type of Doctor Who kind of crossover. I'm not actually a fan of Doctor Who personally, but I still think that would be that's that's a really good opportunity. This game would be a way of learning history. Absolutely, it would, Elizabeth. I've said so many times how if I could learn history through this, I would get like straight flipping A's, man. My GPA would be through the roof. You know what I mean? I think it's fantastic. Okay, let's liberate some kids. Let's fill up our um where's the sh where's the shop? Right there, okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, we can't have that. Can't have that. You're all good, sir. You're welcome. No, bro, you're gonna get straight. Haha! <laughs> nah, not when it comes to school, man. I was never a good, uh, never a good student. Never. Wait. Is he on the other side? He must be. Hey, real. What's good, man? How you doing? How was your Monday, my friend? Hopefully, it went all right. I think we're all full. There we go. Let's go free those kids. You get hammered? What's the occasion, sir? I'm afraid I, I, I all I have is like some Coke, so that's all I got to drink with. But what's what are we drinking to? <clears throat> all right, let's go free them kids. It's your birthday today! Shit! Happy birthday, man! What are you what are you drinking on? What's your drink of choice right now? You're my age? I wish you were my age. I wish you were. Cause that means I'd be 34 again. <laughs> Watch it, you! Watch it, you! There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Smash some beers, right on. What's what's your brand? Kill the foreman, free all children. Aw, oh, don't trigger the alarm, that's tough. But you know what we do? Is use our best friend. I think this gentleman's about to have an industrial accident. First, let's deal with that first. She got a gun. It's a Miller Lite. Right on. Is that what you stick with or are you going to move on to something else? Yo, he sh she shot a cop. 
<laughs> You're so dumb. You're done. This is great. They're not seeing me. Yo, they're shooting the cop too. Oh wow, we just caused so much. Yo, I don't want you ringing that bell, sir. Oh no! Damn it. Well, so much for that. I want. Oh God. Well, all right, kiddos, you're clear. Little Master Daniels were to just suddenly go missing. Scared to face me, are you? No kids over there. Oh, they're down there. Okay. There we go. I want to get that bell dealt with. Yes, I am stopping child labor. Absolutely I am. Absolutely I am. Bet your ass I am. These are the, like, this mission specifically, and there's a bunch of them. Like, hell nah. All right, you kids are clear. Oh yeah, he's coming. The Taskmaster. You have a few to like get Harold Lee. Okay. Okay, so you got a strategy to this, real. <laughs> you got a strategy to this. Shit. He's just running away. <laughs> where's he? Where's he going? He just ran. He's like, nope. He just nope right out of here. Like, I'm not dealing with this shit. <laughs> there we go. He's still running. Look at him go. <laughs> That's great. Bet they're thrilled to go play with kids. As best they could, I suppose, in, in that day and age. Now, there was a... A treasure chest up there I want to go get. There we are. We've got a gang war ready to go. So then, uh, real, what's what are you going to be drinking on tomorrow? I'm curious. Court Escort. Okay, let's go. There it is. Give me the goodies. Be plagered, absolutely. That's where it is. I've nailed it, Benders. Nailed it. Alright, let's go do the gang war. Before we do, let's go fill up our goodies. Because you need that in a rumble.
Now, to be fair, a lot of these kids probably didn't really have anywhere to go, so... Well, shit, there's a cargo escort right here. Why don't we do that? How much bullets I got? I got bullets. Let's go. Protect it from blighter attacks. Okay. Alright, well, I'm trying to defend it. Oh, shit, here we go. Is, is it me if I shoot the horses? Oh, shit. It's the cops. Shit, I'm out. I need my knives now. Like, dude, why'd the cops have to get involved? <laughs> that shit coming. Dude, was there a stop sign here or something? Like, what? What's going on here? Why? If we get ruled up on because this guy's taking his sweet-ass time, I'll be pissed. Why are we going so slow? This is annoying. Don't be dirty in the workplace. I'm talking. <laughs> nah, my workplace is actually really, really, really good in regards to being able to speak freely and joke with each other. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm real like, bro. Can I drive? That shit coming. At least tell me how far we gotta go. This is the first time we've done this type of mission, and I find everyone saw all these missions glitch out. That shit, come on. Like, if I take over driving... Oh, there it is. I see. Dude. Let me take the reins. Thank you. Thank God. This guy was, like, driving Miss Daisy. For gosh sakes. Like, that would have taken... That was... Yeah, he's drunk. He's... He, <laughs> drink it on the top. There you are. Hey, 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 stay... What are you doing, bro? Jeez. Here now. I don't have a dash cam. <laughs> there we go. Thankfully, we were able to kind of make our way out of it. Uh, resources are meh. Go in your pace. Oh, I love this. <laughs> it, it was pretty slow. <laughs> cool. Alright. Actually, that helps out. We're right close to the battle. But, I do need to buy some goodies first. So, let's do that. Oh, he was... I don't know how he's sleeping after, like, I was shooting and we were getting into problems and stuff. I don't know how that man was like that. Hold up. I'm going the wrong way. You just killed my guy! Right back at you, asshole. Oh yeah, you want some? Yeah. There we go. Just thought you could roll into our area? Oof. Pull that? Nah, no, man. Yo! Watch where you're swinging there, bucko. Oh, no, Evie, Evie, what are we doing here? No, Evie, stop it. All right, here we go. Look no further. Let's uh, refill all. Beautiful. Damn. Please make sure all of these things we're doing, we actually have less money now. Because we're, we're constantly refilling our shit. All right. Hopefully, uh, my team isn't going to be sleeping on the job with the rumble coming up. I feel like in West Side Story. You know? Except, except we're in London. We've been challenged with gang war, Miss Fry. Please, come with us. Of course. I got you.
Now, we've already taken out the other gang's leaders, so this is going to be a lot more simple. Which is good. Love to see it. Once it loads in... <laughs> loading times are a little rough in this game. It's, I don't have too many complaints about this. With Miss Nora gone, I'd say your chances of winning the fight have increased. But I'd still keep my eye on those blighters if I were you. Not to be... Not a concern. Ba, 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 ba. This borough is ours for the taking. Look how everyone's looking. Level sevens. Looks like that. Done. Level eight. Like, everyone just came down here for, like, some murder. Yo, you thought you were walking away? Nuh-uh. <laughs> you first saw was giant hunky gingers. Yeah, those guys are kind of built, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we are Evie and Jacob Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. This is, like, the one area that I'm, like... Uh, it's like, no, they don't work for us. We've earned that, like, mm, that sounds more Templarish to me. You work for us versus, hey, join us, you know? Read the message before that? Okay, hold on, Benders, I got you. Stephanie thought I should recruit some members first. This is Evie Fry we're talking about, Stephanie. You know what, though? You are right. I didn't know we were walking into, like, level 7 and 8, guys. We're level 6. So, it's a good thing that we actually beat Nora ahead of time, because that could have been a challenge. <laughs> There's some guild in the game you play called GHG. Someone asked what it stood for. I don't have a clue. Your first thought was giant hunky gingers. <laughs> it's the opposite of HGH. Instead of human growth uh, hormone, it could be ginger hormone growth. Weird. That's... No. I take that back. That's weird. <laughs> hey! Cargo hijack? Don't mind if I do. Yeet! Get out of here! I'm driving now. The amount of bullets those guys took was insane. Woo! <laughs> Flip out of here, buddy. You're trying to hit me with that? <laughs> Let's go. I love this. This is great. Fuck out of here. Oh, shit. He ran his horse into the bridge. You dumbass. Oh, no, I fucked up. Yeah, it wasn't wearing a seatbelt. I told them. I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. There you are. <sighs> now we have a nice, peaceful ride ahead of us. It is now indisputably giant huggy ginger. <laughs> but is anyone in your group a ginger, though? Because, like, if you're going to follow that, at least one of y'all has got to be a ginger. Come on. Uh-oh. No, someone's rolling up on us. We're so close. Ah. Okay, hold on. I was so close too. 
I gotta do that shit again. Riding shotgun. Whoa, we don't wanna go there. Easy. Oof. Yo, these fuckers will not leave me alone. Now, excuse me while I back up. Yeah. Leave me alone. Jerks. I don't even know where those guys came from. We were home free. There you go. Oh, they better not do that shit no more, man. I don't got any bullets left. <laughs> oh. Some of these roads yeah. are really close quarters as well, so it's a bit of a challenge. There we go. Fantastic. Go. Oh wow! We get a bunch of trophies here. You won't find better. There we go. Now, there's Have one thing time. that I want to do here: gang upgrades. This one here, it's worth 12. Oh, no. So, okay. Let's go to the train. So that I can get money. Because I want that. Because that helps us earn money faster. Right? So let's go there. Wherever our train is. There it is. Perfect. Okay, and while we're waiting for this to load, guys. I'm just going to do a drink refill right now. Feel free to refill any snacks and stuff you guys got going on as well. And then we'll get our money, upgrade our shit. It's going to be a great time. All right. Appreciate you. We'll see you in a moment or two. Alrighty, my friends. Thanks so much for your patience. Hopefully you guys had a chance to refill any snacks or drinks you had going on. Oof. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Elizabeth, I appreciate that. Got all my windows back up here. There we go. Rumble back up. The chat's up. Butamus. All right. All right, we want to get money. That's right. That's what we're doing. Getting money. Looked like he was on his phone. Like he was just leaning on his phone. How much money? Four thousand dollars. You know what we're gonna do? Mm-hmm. No, no, we're not doing that. We. Upgrade, motherfucker. Right. There we go. So this will increase our train high income. Nice. Worth it. The sooner I can get more money, the sooner I can upgrade other shit. A tea magnate. Invest in London's tea businesses to increase the train high by five. Okay. And then this is shop investor. Yeah, see... It's going to be huge. Now, it sucks. I don't really have that much, but hey. You know what? More uh, cash rewards here. I, I think that's good, right? Or I can get more of these. I don't care about those. Ooh, that actually... Mmm. Mmm. I like that. I like the sound of that. This actually might be uh, beneficial. I think let's do this one. There we go. That's going to help us out. The Rook Riders. Not Rough Riders. Rook Riders. Stop. Drop. Shut them down. Open up shop. Whoa. No. That's a Rook Riders roll. No? No. My bad. Uh, I can't really do any skill upgrades because I don't have any... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We can, though. We got five skill points. What's this? Eh. I like the sound of this. Hmm. What's this? Yo, I like this. 
I like this. Done. Done. All right, Bender. Sounds good, man. We'll be here, brother. We'll be here for another good while. Stephanie, yeah, it's the, it's the remix. I'm the whitest guy to do it, but hey. <laughs> shout, shout out and respect. Uh, rest in peace, DMX. Okay. Let's do a story mission. Okay, so we're on the same kind of area here. So I think we meet... You know what? Let's switch over to Jacob. Because we didn't actually use Jacob at all last episode. I think we used him like once or twice. Did your power activate? Form of rapper? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all didn't know. <laughs> Y'all didn't know. I got bars for days. Souvenirs? What? I don't understand what this is. I guess I'm supposed to get souvenirs, but we don't have them. Alright, well that's a, yet another collectible. Okay, Evie, jump please. Come on. There we go. How to girl. What? More souvenirs. Oh, shit. Alright, well, we have to switch to Jacob. We'll do it further out. Hold on. Let's... <sighs> so, we have opened up all this. Oh, well, that's a story mission right there. Right, the origin of the syrup. Let's go. That's the next story mission. Where's our fast travel that's close by? Right there. Done. Then we'll switch to Jacob. I think uh, that's it. that's the plan. Ba 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 la 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 da da. Looks like she's doing a da, 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 da. like a little dance, right? The way she's moving with it. Ba ba ba. This is around the lookout. <laughs> Oh, I should have asked Benders what he's gonna make make for food. I'm actually I'm hungry. I could eat right now. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah, uh, Evie's outfit is based from Aveline, who was in Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry, which was actually um, just after Assassin's Creed Three. And Elsar was like, "Cam, you should do it. Cam, you should do it. Cam, you should do it." I never did it, and I probably should have. Elsar was right. All right, time to leap of faith. Yep. So I think we'll have to put that in at some point. Uh, let's go. Not too far of a walk. Now, let's uh, switch over to our boy. Wrong one. There we go. Right, now I have to upgrade all his skills. Fuck. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it. I know we wanted this one. We just got that for Eevee. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to upgrade him. <laughs> he was a level five. Look, just how you jumped out. Oh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> I think we had this one. Yeah, this one as well we had. I like that. There we go. All right, now we're all set. <laughs> Looks like a mess. Oh. Uh oh. 
Interesting. I think I'll just leave. <laughs> oh wow, they're doing pictures here? That's cool. Yo, everyone's running for me right now. Okay, there's something I was gonna do here real quick. Ah, right. Uh inventory. Can we upgrade him now? We have to be a level six for like a really good uh kukri here. Like, it's a level 6 Kukri. That's the one. There we go. That's the one we want. Yes! 311. There we go. That's better. I've been waiting up to get, get access to that. Everywhere right now. Do, do, do. Yeah. <laughs> right, Darwin! Mr. Owen, you are truly the most insufferable fellow I have ever had the misfortune to count among my acquaintances. Oh my Mr. goodness. Dickens was right. Foul weather wouldn't know where to have you. Foul weather? Bah. I have always been convinced that existing influences were responsible for the ordained birth of species. Let me remind you, sir, that you have accused me of abusing science, yet you are making my very ears bleed. It's harsh you words. You fooled me, sir. <laughs> Will you, Mr. Owen, for once in your miserable life, tell Shit. the truth and admit your guilt in this matter? Yes. Will you? Darwin looks like with the beard, man. <laughs> oh. The, like, back in the day, that was ge a gentlemanly way of, like, tearing a strip, like, off him. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, like, you're saying these things in a very I civil way. Before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Oh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! Bah, I say to you. Damn, you'll drive. No, Darwin! Ah. That is Richard Owen! A vile, despicable wretch of a man! Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. <laughs> Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Now that's what we see. Get yeah. Him. See, Jacob didn't give a fuck otherwise. But then that? I think I made a mistake. I'm trying to run after this thing. I should have taken the horse. Yeah, I screwed up. I think we're gonna lose here. Let's see if we can catch up. Oh, I think we will. Yeah, as soon as Jacob knew he was about the syrup, we're like, oh yeah, it's on. <laughs> Otherwise, Jacob was just laughing about it. He's like, I thought you guys were good friends. Let's go. We're not very doing a very good job at this. That's the way. <laughs> Just going for a nice. Nay. <laughs> Yeah, we're causing a bad day for everybody here. We're just fucking up everyone. What's going on, Rampage? The river Thames. Better speak now, old man. Next up, the river Thames. Better speak now, old man. Stop! Fucking 
Eddie's sake, stop and I would tell you everything I know. Yes, you will. Good sir. Now, was that so hard? Dude. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> we messed up that carriage. All right. Let's go after the scissor up here. Okay. So now. Okay. And we got a nice little fast travel right there. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. You have to kind of lose the whole realism thing when you're dealing with the horses because basically the amount of times I've driven the horses into walls and into other people, like they would be dead. Completely dead. But in order for the game to work okay, it would be it would be really annoying to do these carriage missions if the horses really died that easily, right? So, it's a balance there. It's a balance. <sighs> Alright. We've been waiting to go after this Serp for a long time. So... Like, we started chasing after this Serp like three episodes ago, I think. And we're finally getting to it. How appropriate is that in Asylum? Darwin. Hello, sir. Overdose. Okay. Let's go. There are two horses around wild through the streets of London. Yeah. I, what, oh, you mean like for real, Stephanie? Mr. Fry. Oh, he's... I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. I suppose oh, he's yes. It. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. Ah. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined phrenology. his career. Phrenology? What's phrenology? Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Yes. Good luck, my boy. <laughs> yes, you do oh, all the shit. And uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Are you serious, Stephanie? Oh, wow. <laughs> He's like, someone's going to do my dirty work for me. Okay, hold up. I want to check this out real quick. I've heard of phrenology before, but I completely forget what it is. So hold on. Phrenology. Phrenology, the study of the conformation of the skull as indicative of mental faculties and the traits of character. Racist shit. Especially according to the hypothesis of Franz Joseph Gall, a German doctor and such 19th century adherents as Johann Kaspar Spurzheim and George Combe. So yeah, it, it's basically the belief that specific tendencies were tied to particular areas of the brain. The phrenologists also believe that these abilities were tied to the size of that region of the brain, which was then reflected by the bumps on the outside of the skull. I think an example of this was in Django Unchained. If you haven't seen Django Unchained, you should watch that movie. Fantastic movie. And a part of that movie, Leonardo DiCaprio, who is playing, uh, his character is Calvin Candy. He is the slave owner of a plantation. And he does, he goes on a, a bit of a monologue with a skull talking about how black people have different loaves, which would make them more susceptible to, you know, being slaves and, and, and all that bullshit, which it is. Um... So, but that, okay, that's phrenology basically says, hey, based on the bumps on your skull, um, that means you have different parts of the brain that is susceptible to be more into this or that or that. Um, so, yeah, Candyland, Stephanie, you, you've seen it, you know what's up with that. Yeah, great movie. Fantastic movie. Jamie Foxx was fucking awesome in that movie. It was, that was such a good movie. 
So I guess we're not just gonna walk into the front door, are we? What a- this is an asylum. Holy shite. Why are they hanging out here? <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? Let's just uh, start climbing. Let's get our- get in here. Reach the vantage point. I feel like I've done that, this one before. Well, I hope uh, when those horses, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry that the horse got injured. I hope no one else got injured as well. Well, oh, that looks like something up there. I would never climb this in this weather, of course, but I mean, we're... Uh, I forgot there was something there. That terrified me. I thought we were going to be a freaking pancake. Mil oh, they're military horses. Okay, gotcha. Ah, oh, there's an entry point. Move over here, shall we? I find the doctor. What's that? Why is it glowing? Okay. Oh God, Stephanie. Yeah, we're in our white Ezio robes. <laughs> no bueno. So how do we get there? Maybe through here. Aha. Ah, perfect. Let's just have a view, shall we? Oh. Dude's doing a straight lobotomy. Like right, right through the eye. Oh, not- oh, right in the skull! Ah! Well, as you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. I'm pretty sure he expected that. I've ruined the organ. He's like, oh well. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Linson. Okay, at least they're setting up a dead one. A unique kill opportunity? What? Like this? I don't care about your ethics. And I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. Look at those chops on that man. Oh, what's with the bloody handprint though? You out of here, Benders? All right, my friend. Hope you have a great night. Good seeing you. I hope you enjoyed your noms as well. Okay. So we got assassinate Buddy there. Okay, halt the electroconvulsive therapy session. Do not fire a single bullet. That's fine. We have knives. Can can I help you? Look. Away with you. Okay. What, what, what the devil do you... Dude. Like th these types of places. I think we can get through this without saying, uh, firing a bullet. 
It's all good, Benders. You do you, brother. We'll be here, and I hope you have a great night, my friend. What's wrong with him? Do I look like a doctor? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Now, the nurse is over there with the key. Dude, I don't know what's down here. Quiet. Dude, I love the fact that we're kind of overleveled right now, so this is easy. Love it. Ugh, bloody rats! Take back your filth! <laughs> this guy has anger problems. Where you going, brother? I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. Why can't I kill him? I'm afraid I must ask you to leave, sir. What? Opportunity failed? I was supposed to kill that guy. I was supposed to kill the young doctor, right? Did I misunderstand that? I don't understand why I failed that opportunity. It said kill him. It had the X over the skull over his head. I'm confused. But hey, you know what? It is what it be. That annoys me. Now I'm kind of triggered. <laughs> you too, Elizabeth, right? Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me either. No, you don't. You don't got nothing. Me? Oh, yo, maybe that was it. I don't, I guess. I don't know. What's up, buddy? Shh, go to sleep. All these crazy people will be like. <laughs> Alright, I think we can go up over the top here. I think. No, we can't. So, how do we... How do we get to the other part of the mansion, then? Like, do I leave and come back in, or... I don't know. What? Interesting. But annoying. Ah, uh, I think I have to go back upstairs. Well, that guy's sure lucky I found him. Fuck. Not what I wanted. Upsy daisy. There we go. All right. Aha, here we are. Sneaky. All right, let's go talk to Nursey Nurse over here. If we can. Oh, hi. Um... 
didn't expect to see you here. I wouldn't trust the dog. I don't care who you're gonna trust, sir. Oh shit. Oh, it's like that? You're done, buddy. Oh, I, I dodged that. Ugh. There we are. Oh. Hi. Uh, how do I help you? Uh, I don't understand. I was supposed to find the chick. Fuck, you know what? I hope I don't have to get the key from her because she's not giving it up. Yeah, and you're dead, bro. There you go. Flip. Like, I swear. Oh, shit. Damn it! No, I won't regret that. Oof. So, a master key is required. What's up, buddy? So, the annoying thing here is she's not giving me the key, even though she's supposed to give me the key. of our syrup distillery. It doesn't matter. What happened? We're fast friends now, aren't we? I should have actually continued listening to him. I'm supposed to sound I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't require a reason to end your life. Here we go. Out of the side. Uh, out of the way here. Done. So they knew about me. At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. Hmm. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Starrick has a glorious design for mankind. Okay. Designs are meant to be broken. I are a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Working so far. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? How does he know our name? <sighs> and how does he know about our father and our history? I mean, they are Templars. The Templars probably started figuring it out. Once again, like the throwback to Assassin's Creed 1. Okay. Alright, we gotta get out of here without uh, firing anything. Time to go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go right now. Not that way. I mean, we've killed everyone in here, so... 
We just gotta get upstairs. Ah, oh, a ladder. How about that? That's what that was. There we are. Time to go. Steady on. Got it. Yeah, see, we, we, we did all the stuff that got the things. Well, I'm good. Your laptop muted itself? Aw. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't it weird when that you tech does shit like that? It's like, why? Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank He's you. simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. Yeah, this guy is clearly the final boss. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. And up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. Right. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. Uh, don't like that. And no. you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? Oh, don't underestimate me, sir. You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. The Brits do love their I'm tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome I hate her hat. much longer. And what of this her hat is so annoying. Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> she said it so angrily. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otso Berg. Berg yes. runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Okay. Oh. What's up? Rebecca and Sean. Drone Lucy? That's a shout out. That's a that's a oh, shout out to Lucy right. from Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, Tish Tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. Oh, stop it, Sean. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The I love that they're still using the same uh, voice actors, Sigma too. Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. I'm so glad they're still around. I really am. Oh, hold on. Where'd my chat windows go to? A letter. For me? Yeah. There we go. There's always letters for Jacob, never for Evie. But now that Jacob has gone off on his own, did his thing. Are we gonna? Is, are Jacob and Evie gonna kind of like make up, or are they so be mad at each other? The perils of business. John Elliotson is dead, and Sterk's soothing syrup has been eradicated. Having shut down one branch of Sterek's enterprise, Jacob looks to loosen the Master Templar's hold on London's transportation. Meanwhile, the race for the Shroud of Eden continues, and Evie hopes to gain the upper hand over her enemy, Lucy Thorne. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Sterek has bought an omnibus company as well. Okay. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Sterek's competitor, is she? 
Perhaps it's time I went into business. <laughs> and Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. All right, so they're still kind of at odds. A letter. So... For me? Again? <laughs> okay, so we got some... Okay. M. What's the M? Karl Marx. Like, we got so many... We got Darwin, Karl Marx uh, references. Graham Bell. Like, oh my goodness. And this is breaking news. Cool, cool, cool. So, what to do first? We are level 6. This is suggests level 8. So, just level 9. So, we got a bunch of story shit to do first, I think. I'm glad you're still here, Stephanie. Always glad to have you around. Okay. Let's check out the Mark's memories. Why not? Well, hold on. Not quite yet. Let's have a look at this letter. We got one skill point for that. Jacob always says a letter for me. Mr. Frog, I oh. hope you're having a fine day. More uh, souvenirs. Assassination wall. No, okay, we're just gonna do the fast travel. It said collectibles? Goodness, is that not the shop as it looks? Access souvenirs. Yeah, there's a lot of little collectible things here. Is there something else I missed there that you saw, Stephanie? It's a difficult world, I find. So much injustice. So we already got the money, so we got that. Yeah. And then we have the wall here. Oh, on the map? Oh, on, on the map map? Hold up. This map? Oh, yeah, collectibles there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Got you. Right, right, right. So there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of those. Um, as much as I'm enjoying doing a lot of side stuff, I'm, I'm not really gonna go out of my way to get collectibles, just because I mean that's gonna take. We're already taking forever on this. Uh, but let's uh, check out the marks still. Uh, where's our fast travel? It's right here. Uh, like, see, I can drop down, grab the illustration. That's like a collectible, right? It's right there. So at that point, it's like no big deal. Might as well, right? We might as well. But I'm not going to go out of my way, like, on stream anyway. Pubs employed pop boys to walk the street wooden box holding different types of beer, selling to householders along the route, who leaned out their windows and shouted, Beer! <laughs> That's basically Uber. Uber Eats, back in the day. <laughs> nice. So, we have a lot of materials to craft things now, which is great. We just need the money. <laughs> We're low after we did that last gang upgrade. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. Private contractors bought... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Tiffany, I didn't ask. How's your uh, your workload going? Huh? Still crazy, or, or is it getting better? Like, how you doing with uh, that, that whole thing? Nope. Here we go. I see a beer bottle on my mini map too. Is it a pub? What is it? It's just a bottle. Why is it on my map? Oh, they're just like beer bottles like that are sticking around. Okay. Oh, thief. Oh, sir, sir, sir. We, we, you're just standing there. Okay. Got her. What? This is my borough. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Not what I want. Uh, we are all right here. So, we want to do Karl Marx. Memory. Uh, let's grab this on the way, since it's right there. We just talked about those little collectibles. Excuse me, gentlemen. Not, you're not going to graduate this way because you're failing that marking class, but you're good with it. Maybe it was a later date. 
That's tough that it's the one thing. I'm wondering, Stephanie, if you get everything else done, right? Every, like, get everything else done. That way, the, like, the next term or when you're ready, you can just focus just on that. So you're not flipping stressed out. Have you talked to the professor at all? Please. Just to ask them, like, hey, to see if there's ways that... To make it, like, more possible for you to reach deadlines and stuff? Like, that's a hard pill to swallow. You've been doing all the all this work just for that one to hold you hold you back. Like, I feel for you. Keep fucking up. Okay. Go for one. Not that far, only at 20 meters. Oh, yes. Yeah, you might need Not bad. What'd I get? What I get? It usually tells me like what I got, but it's weird. Oh. oh yeah, we can go down that side. Everything else is done. We'll take this class by itself with multiple Yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's a good strat. Um Yeah, all of, it's like when I play these games, I, I go up against uh, a bunch of uh, enemies like sometimes there's just that one enemy that makes just takes you out it's just like it's that one piece of the puzzle that's just no it's too too much you know you're level two bro. <laughs> what is going on here I, is this a cargo thing I don't think I'm gonna get it. I didn't want to get it. Keep it busy. Like I didn't even want to go after you. I should pay attention. I have to focus on chat with you, Stephanie. It's all your fault. You still graduate from Shiro's degree? We'll do it. Fuck. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Sometimes you. S so when you get a chance to like have a break today? Looks like it's going to be a nice night in London. There's also a 10-week class we'll try for a 16-week in person. Yeah, that might help. Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. Okay. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Hmm. Who needs help there, Carl? Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. Okay. You've got the look of a I'm man sorry. who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance. Okay. The working people. Isn't that what we were doing? An interesting challenge. We accept. We do? Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. <laughs> we accept. <laughs> She's smiling. She's like, yeah. <clears throat> I'm organizing a discreet meeting with some like-minded friends to discuss trades unions. Ooh, unions. Alas, the police seem to have noticed my activities. They've stuck to me like flies on Shizon. <laughs> In any case, I need you to help me get to the meeting without the interference of the police. Uh-oh. I just wanted to Skill, kill spies with hanging barrels? You see? There's one of the damn spies now. What the oh. <laughs> yeah, see, they want me to use hanging barrels. But... I suppose I'll just have to wait. Oh. 
Run away. Run away. You're done for. Stop. Please, I don't want to die. Surround him. Dude, those billy clubs still hit like a bitch. Surrender, and we'll go easy on you. Yo, he's Marks is still just going off on his own right now. Okay, we gotta catch up to our boy here. I don't see any hanging barrels. Yeah, I don't really have any right now. Dude. That's the tough part for me in these games. Like, I want to. Yeah, I'm down to three. I'm here, sir. Tonight, sundown. The usual place. That's a rat. You know, I had similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne, our next worthy ally, awaits us in a nearby pub. Ah! Onwards! No Onwards! Doubt the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear. Okay. Oh, I wonder who did all that. All right, well, I hope he stays safe. Well, we go take care of the spy. It is quite the long walk. Close for the night. There we are. Oh, look at that. He made his way. Perfect timing. Way to go, Carl. It's the usual location. One hour. Right you are, Mr. Mark, sir. Whoa. <laughs> he just freaking teleported. Man is a Houdini. I believe our work here is complete. Come, let's slip away and get to the meeting. I do appreciate your assistance in this matter. Good. Only when workers are able to assemble freely and in strength will we be able to achieve the reforms we most assuredly deserve. Might mm. I trouble you to stay nearby until the meeting is over? I fear we may yet meet with some mischief. Okay. Sounds good. What? People are doing too good here. Look at your 30 pieces, Charm. Don't you worry. It seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will you fetch the gentleman back here? I would look him in the eye and ask why he went back on his brethren. Hmm. Yo, he's walking like... Oh, this is going to be tough. Like, he's got all the goons with him. They do look rough, don't they? Especially in the rain here. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a terrible 
mistake, I, I assure you, you had the wrong bit. Damn it. Oh, that's Box's hired ruffian. Save me! What? He's still up there? Oh, shit. I'm not excited for this. This is about to get ugly. Yo, what? Surrender! Can I attack him? Thank God we're level 6. These guys are like... I remember it looked like the first time we played... <laughs> That's great. Mistake. Silence, and I might let you live. Hmm. Deliver the traitor. Yeah, you see what I did to your buddy there? I recommend you stop struggling. Oh, no, I want that chest right now. Oh, well. We'd always come back for it. Don't call for help. I can break this this arm. There's something strange easily, going on. Something's happening. No, nothing happening at all. Nothing here. It would be wise to keep quiet. What's going on over there? Just two dudes what holding hands. Here? You know, no big deal. Shh. Not one word. What's happening? Wonder what happened. Not your business, kiddos. I'd rather not hurt you. Don't think I won't. You saw the cop I killed, buddy. Like, stop it. Stop crying. Not a peep from you. Nothing. Just going for a walk in the rain. No big deal. I hear a little, uh... Little bot. Like a... sound and it'll be your I forget what they're called. Like a little music box. We're fast friends now, aren't we? Dude's drunk as fuck. <laughs> Don't call for help. Kids are just out there playing <laughs> soccer in the rain. <laughs> Simon, my friend, what possessed you to do this thing? Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Mill say, any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please oh. go. I thank you, my friend. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself. Poor Simon. Oh, wow. I totally failed. <laughs> but we still got some money and some, some supplies there, so that's good. And we got a skill point, so that's huge. All right, where are we going next here? All right, that's the fight club that we don't talk about. Why don't we, uh, a room with a view? I like that. Now, where's our nearest fast travel? Yeah, not the clue. Well, we got one over here. Let's hit that up. Let's go. Oh, no. I forgot the chest, Stephanie. Ah, I saw that. Oh, well. We can always come back for it. Oh. See, that's why I was upset. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. Earn XP from unlocking perks, resolving crowd events, completing missions and activities, which we are doing very, very well, I might add.
Pa, pa, pa. Bee. Okay, that's really bright. Ouch. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> Once again, the fast travel that isn't that fast. We're going to have to uh, have a look at some crafting stuff here pretty soon. Okay. Go here, and we got a couple things we can grab on the way. There's an illustration there. Like, what's what even? It's a helix glitch. There we go. Bop. Now that we're here, let's refill all. Yo, our money's starting to get there, though. We're up to 7k. Come back Not bad. Again, by all means. Not bad. Now, there's a helix glitch in here. It's shiny. It's on top of the statue. <laughs> Yo. How the fuck do I get that? What? What are you sitting on? Some sort of scuffle over there. Oh, that's her dress. I thought she was sitting on, like, one of those... Exercise balls or something. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Aha. Really? There we go. Aha. Dewey, you get it? No, nah, not a problem there, Governor. I want no trouble. I got into enough trouble tonight as it is. <laughs> so here we go. Bop. <laughs> Oof. Cargo hijack? Don't mind if I do. Get it. I fucked up. Time to go. <laughs> I fucked up. When there's two of them, I have to do something different. Miss me. Oh, really? You really want to hit me. Worst mistake here. That's a bad idea, sir. Dumbass. Ah. Wow, there's actually a lot of missions, uh, or story missions to get up on about, so. See, this is where I, there, thank you. Away! <laughs> and the music plays on, yes. <laughs> Clues lead Evie closer to the Peace of Eden. Okay, I guess we're gonna switch over to Evie again. That's fine. So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time, following me around, asking obvious questions. Mm. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company, and Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh, yes, Mr. Green. That's a fascinating idea. Oh, please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I oh, do not. Stop. Well, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but... I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. 
He's being kind of a dick. And more pleasant for your absence. Ha. I think he's being a little bit of a dick. Personally. Oh, look, she's flying. Really? How am I supposed to examine that without causing a ruckus? You sound like a bunch of children. You are being very ungrateful. Do you really want to keep living in fire traps? Well, we cannot continue this until you calm yourself. Oh, she she's doing uh, well, I guess we're gonna cause a problem she here. Oh like shit! Holy oh, shit! Side. There's so many. Oh, and they're level seven. <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god, these guys are good sound. There's barely any notification of the attack. Oh, fuck. Let's move on with you. 48 combo. <laughs> Brothers, am I right? I'll take your word for it, Stephanie. I'm an only child, personally. Although, I do have a son who is a brother to a sister, so... Yeah, you know what? That actually kind of checks out. He, he's kind of... He can be pretty dickish to her. Yeah, big bonkers. I use soul. Like, those guys are... Oh. I feel that level 5 pops are, like, still more challenging and stronger than level 5 uh, enemies. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So... That's where I needed to get to. Oh, shit. I forgot we had that. Is it open a secret door? This reminds me of Assassin's Creed 2. Like, where we would, like, find stuff. And there's, like, a secret door that opens up. Then we go into, like, a... Um... Like a... I don't know. Like a dungeon or something like that. Just a cool little throw throwback. It's a big ass monument, man. How'd they even erect this thing? Ooh, what do we got? This looks familiar. Now, is it a puzzle? What a view, though, huh? Before I leave feet in a haystack while on a zip line? Okay, where's a the haystack? Right there. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what the fuck was that? R2L, yeah, I get it. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, hell yeah. 
Let's not draw any attention to ourselves. There we go. See, it's supposed to show me what uh, we're supposed to get there. All right, let's uh, pop in here, buy some stuff. Cause we always need some. Get your riff. Four hundred dollar reduce. On this customer, you are. <laughs> Yeah, until the next customer comes in. But you say it's all your customers, sir. <laughs> all right, time to hijack a coach here. There we go. Slowly now. Oh my God, you slow ass people! <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. I want. I, at first, it was like really scary. I don't know what happened. Uh but we made it work. Talk of the city of London. Gotta go. Whoa! Hoo -hoo, this this thing can handle. Community carriage, exactly. It's like ride sharing back in London, right? It's, it's like moto. Or whatever the other type of ride sharing things are. Oh, uh, there's Moto. Is it Lyft? Okay. No. Easy. Good horsey. <laughs> Secret of St. Paul's Cathedral. Well, I think we should go upstairs first. That will help us. Won't it? Upsy daisy. <laughs> Big climb. This game would not be for people who are afraid of heights, I think. <laughs> Well, it's going to be one of those ones where we have to straighten out the circle here. Jesus never had a sword. Oh, no, I don't like the look of this puzzle. Oh, no. Y'all know how good I am with puzzles. Rotate the gears to align the symbols. Okay, so it's even, right? So I have like a, a weird E with a weird E. So I think that's the same, right? And then that matches up with that, so I need three dots, but there is no three dots on this one. So I think what we have to do... There we are. That one matched up. Then we have three dots here. But there's nothing there. Fuck. Well, then I think we just match it up. Where well, there's nothing there. Right? This matches up with that. And then this should match up with that. If I'm understanding the puzzle properly, which there's a good chance I don't. Okay. Now what? I... I... I think I've done it, right? Because it doesn't really tell us what should be done. I'm just guessing. Because there's no hints on like, Hey, Cam, you should probably do this. Unless... No, because I can't. Is there any other symbols that match up here? There's three dots, right? Did I try that one already? We haven't tried that one. Let's try that one. Once again, I'm hoping rotate the gears to align the symbols. Okay. So I need the E now. So hold on. The one up top, if I look at it like an E, it goes to the right. That one goes to the right. They all go to the right. So what the fuck? So let's do... No. Nope. No, that's not... Because there's no triangle over here. 
See, this is annoying because... Like, it doesn't tell me what I need to do. Like, I think I'm close. Right? So I think the... Like, this is... I'm gonna go with it, and then I'm gonna have to look it up, because we ain't got time for this shit. Other E, you think? But even when I was doing the E's on that center one, it just... It didn't... Because does it also have to be the direction? Yeah, so that direction matches up. So the circle and the, everything matches up on that. So it's going to be three vertical ones. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's also got to match the exact same one. So vertical, vertical, right? That is a backwards E, so it's going to be this one. This has got to be it. Then we got triangle. Okay, I think we I think we might have this now. I just was matching them up with like they were different... Uh, uh, orientations there. Gotta be it. Yeah, we got it. There we go. So I was on the right track. I just had the wrong ones. They are facing the wrong direction. Alright. Nice. Okay, see, that was that bad of a puzzle. At first I... Ooh, we're going inside it's the... It's in the very top. Well, time to uh, fast travel. We'll uh, use our LLR zip line. Maybe. See, this is where it's like I should be able to use L, but I can't. It's gonna force me to climb. Assholes. There we go. Like all of these little facades, like people wouldn't be able to see these from down low. I don't even know why they did it. But then again, I guess I just wasn't a designer or an artist back in the days. I didn't have any vision. Upsy daisy. Thanks, Elizabeth. Appreciate that. Here we go. The key to the vault and the shroud. Nice. That looks really interesting. Kind of cool looking, weird looking, but cool. Good day, looking. Miss Fry. I'll take that. You and Shroud has meant your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the Shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it? How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life? Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern. Shit's about to go down. Yo, she actually wanted to fight one on one. We're up against the wall. Pop, pop, pop. Like, why would you face this one v one? Cock, little bitch. Oh shit, Evie! Right through the window. Oh! <laughs> I called it. Coming with me. I have other plans. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Damn it. Oh, what? I, did I at least knock her stupid fucking little hat off her head? Oh, I had to counter all of her strikes? Oh. That's fine. Her strikes were really fast. They were actually hard to figure out there. Fancy moves. <laughs> I love that she went through the window though. <laughs> that was great. Well, it was craft like artisans and, and whatnot, like from back then. It's so bright, dude. <sighs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, another marks. Anarchist intervention. I'm here for it. 
Fast travel's right there too. Beautiful. But I know I you know what? I need to actually buy some shit. You know what we can do? It's right there. Beautiful. Let's go. But I think that's also why, like, they built these things to last, right? It, it was just a way of leaving some type of legacy, right? That's why everything was so grand. I mean, look at what happened in in Rome and, and all those places years. Going back through the decades and the centuries, right? Kings and, and, and people would build monuments so that people would, like, they could share their history of the time and all that. The amount of work to do that, though, back in those days, blow my mind. <laughs> no. Oh, all the special puzzles and machinery. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... Right? That's the... That probably was the precursor uh, race. Who are hiding all these things for the Peace of Eden. Uh, this is my guess, right? Or, or those who are connected with them. Okay, I see there's something here. But, no, I have to go all the way up there. Fuck it. Alright, let's go buy the stuff. We'll do the Mark's uh, mission. But yeah, I, I think it, it's the precursor race that came before. Because it all... It, what they need to... All of these items... It all has to do with accessing the, the piece of Eden, right? Which is what provides power that came with the precursor uh, race. Yeah, good fall, yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would fall again. I have everything with your set. All right. Let's do the marks one here. Why not? I'll be on my there's a little flower over here, too. Oh, scare the bullies? Gentlemen. Hmm? I'm here. Hey! Oh, it's mutton, I promise you! Lawyer, I know cat wanna taste it! Yeah, step the fuck off. Assholes. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Those guys, those guys were dicks, man. I never understand people who do that shit. Like, how morally and personally bankrupt are you? If, like, you, that's what you get off on, you know? Alright. A grieving worker plots violent revenge involving some Templar explosives. Stop him before someone gets hurt. Hey, My poor good. friend, Frank Morris. His son dropped dead of exhaustion after finishing an 18-hour shift. Mm. Frank is consumed by grief. He blames the government for refusing to protect the rights of the worker. Right. What's that I can't guy? blame him for his rage, but I fear his actions have gone too far. He plans to steal a shipment of nitroglycerin and it's use it to attack safe to leave the your house anymore. Parliament. Oh, no way. Killing people and destroying property solves nothing. Correct. Democracy is the only road to socialism. Hmm. Please, stop him before he gets yeah, himself Marx or anyone else right? killed. Oh, I expect he's on his way into the city of London now. Alright. I guess that guy just got run over by the horse. Poor bastard. <laughs> 137 meters away. Not that far. That must be the explosives. No sign of Mr. Morris yet, though. Oh, shit. Shit, you I don't can't. Like being told what to do. 
Ugh. Yeah, but when what you're about to do is gonna like kill a lot of innocent people, sorry bro. It's not the way. This is not the way. You know what they say in the Mandalorian? This is the way. But in this situation, sir, it's not the way. Easy go. I don't wanna go through here. Sucks cause I can't just barrel my ass through here. I don't wanna go boom. Shit, too many. There we go. That's it. Ancient Frogger, yeah. Oh no. Slow down. Haha. <laughs> Yo! Stop it. The horses ran him over. I like how the horses are still chilling, just doing their thing. Nice. Go left. Turn right. Oh. Go on. Turn right. Oof, that hurt. I got my team helping out. That just didn't work out well. <laughs> yeah, where were we? Thanks, Elizabeth. I had one good shot there. The other one's not so much. Like, all these people are getting in my way. This is tough. We don't want to go boom. Turn. Oh, that's not cool. Slowly now. Uh. No. <laughs> Go on. Turn right. There you are. So, are we actually gonna help him do this or what? Like, what Gotta type go. of goose chase are we on here? Easy. Easy. Who are these people? Some very determined individuals. We're trapped in here unless you ascend and deal with them. Uh, exit? No! What the fuck? That sucks. This is a Boom, headshot. Now. 
How you feeling now, brother? They got the nitro back. That must please you. Not a bit. I doubt their designs on the explosives are any nobler than yours. Right. Damn. Now I'll have to work out where they've taken it and why. I might be able to assist you. Find me in Southwark when you're ready. Southwark. There we go. Oh, we... <laughs> I totally meant to flip the pursuing carriage. Totally meant to do that. Oh, like children? We got one skill point. Is that a corpse? Yes, it is a corpse. Don't worry about it. Don't talk about it. And we're gonna hop on this because we are. Because we can. Wait, are we? No, we can't. Damn it! No. Okay, fine. All right. Have a look at these skills real quick. So we have five skills to pay the bills. What's this one? Multi finisher. Yo, that sounds sick. However, as much as I want that, let's see what else we have here. Jacob only mutilate. Okay. I like the sound of that. What's this? Twice as many throwing knives. Ooh, I like it. Eh. Oh, I can't get it. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? As much as I want to go for one of the the other ones, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna grab this because that's gonna help us. Nice, level seven. Right on. And I am going to do this one. There we go. Fantastic. Now, getting upgrades, we got some, but I don't want to do that. Gear. What can we upgrade here? Night Terror Cane Sword. That sounds amazing. But I have to be level nine. So I'm not going to waste my money on it. Legendary Assassin Cape? That's oh, level 9 as well. Fuck, dude. Like, so we can't use any of these. Cloak of the Paper. That's actually going to help our defense and our stealth. That actually could help. Oh. A belt fit for a bloodthirsty assassin like myself. Okay, what about upgrades? Large dart pouch? Oh, I need 300 leather. Fuck, we're so close. Ah. Me a knife pouch? I like this. There we go. That's huge. I can do a large one too if I want to. Hmm. Done. Might as well get it out of the way now. Right, we already did that. Right, I don't want to... Because I want to get the T thing going on here. So, that's 15k. Damn. Hmm. 10,000 to train on. Huh. That might be useful right there. I don't really care about that. I don't really... <laughs> a certain fireworks vendor likes when things go boom. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting this. That way it doesn't cost me money. I, I do buy a lot of shit. So that's going to be helpful. Ooh, that's going to be actually really good. Nice. Fuck it. Let's just do it. We're low on money anyway. Might as well do something here. Nice. Our gang's getting powerful. <laughs> Ooh, the M1877 Thunderer. Subtlety be damned. The Thunderer is beautiful monster in silver and gold. Done. 
Let's go. <laughs> now. A flame silk cloak. Man, I should have actually upgraded some of my other stuff here. Mm. Killer's lace. Orange silk. Blackjack. Hmm. All right. So, yeah, we have Aveline. We're not going to really do much there. Elise. Although, that looks really good. That looks really good. But it, all of the, like, all of my capacities increased. Like, Aveline is the shit. This looks pretty fucking cool, too, though. Oh, my God. She looks amazing. What about this? Lady Mel. Oh. This also does the same thing as this. But I like. This is more assassin like as opposed to Aveline with the hat. I might go for this at some point. I like the purple touch on this. Looks good. Oh, we could upgrade too, but. Okay. Copper love? <laughs> cool. Alrighty, my friends. We got a lot done here today. It's getting close on midnight here. In Vancouver, it is a work night. Um, like I said, as normal, I could keep going and going. But it was just uh, fun to kind of get lost for a while with you guys. Let's uh, shout out to uh, everyone who popped in the chat before we wrap up our episode. And we learned more about uh, phrenology as well. Big shout out and thank you to Elizabeth, Stephanie, Benders, Real. Elsar popped in here? Yo, you just popped in a second ago, bro. <laughs> I'm like, what? I didn't see you. What the f <laughs> Until that stream, my friends, have a fantastic Tuesday. Have a fantastic night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Go give someone a high five. We'll see you all on the next one. Appreciate you.